All right, everybody, what is up? It's Thunder. Welcome back. We got some free for all gameplay here on St. Petrograd. Buildings galore. You gotta love it, man. Oh, yes, this is what the community wanted from Infinity Ward. Just give us buildings everywhere, man. We need our safe spaces, man. It's 2019. It's the year of the safe space, dog. <laughs> so anyway, fellas, I am not going to be using my claymores, man. This is going to be a no claymore challenge for all the people out there saying, oh, you only win games because you abuse claymores. Well, yeah, we ain't going to use claymores this match. And let's see how I do without the claymores of justice, fellas. But listen, in today's video, uh, I mean, I know a lot of people don't like this map. It comes up all the time, fellas. I gotta play it. We are waiting for the DLC content to drop. We are waiting for the remastered maps that everyone is hyped for. Like, the COD Modern Warfare community is buzzing. They're so hyped for the uh, COD 4 remakes. I mean, that's how you know this game is in trouble, man. When the best part about the new COD is three maps from the year 2007 from the old COD, you know you got a problem. <laughs> you know you got a problem, son. But whatever, man. Hey, listen, Infinity Ward, you know, um, you don't have to keep remastering COD 4 maps, man. You know, you made some pretty decent maps in Modern Warfare 3. I mean, Modern Warfare 3 was not my favorite COD game, but you guys had some pretty decent maps in MW3. Don't forget to remaster those, fellas. You know, Dome, Sea Town, Hard Hat, they're out there. Remaster that in the next content, in your, in your next biggest, most ambitious content drop ever. Yeah, remaster those maps, please. Uh, and let me tell you guys something right now, man. All you guys are hyped to see Crash and Vacant and, you know, Shipment come back. Let me tell you guys something right now, man. Those maps, if you think they're going to play the same. Oh, my goodness. What the heck just happened, man? <laughs> what? what did this guy do? This guy just randomly threw. Yeah, he just randomly threw a Molotov and hit me. Okay, man. Bad luck right there. <laughs> bad luck for me. But if you think those maps are going to play the same in this game that they did in COD 4. <laughs> son. You are out of your mind, man. There is no way that those maps are going to play the same. First of all, the footsteps are super loud, dude. The footsteps weren't crazy loud in COD 4. They're crazy loud here. Everyone's going to have restock with claymores everywhere. Bro, it's not going to be the same experience. I mean, I know Modern Warfare and Modern Warfare Remaster are total camp fest games, but not like this. This is camping on a whole new level, man. This, this game punishes movement severely. And this is what I want to talk about, fellas. And I know people will be like, oh, well, you could just reverse boost to get an easy lobby. You know, and that's another thing. Skill-based matchmaking, loud footsteps, claymores everywhere. Yeah, the maps definitely won't play the same. And I know people like, just go reverse boost. It's been uh, exposed how to reverse boost in this game. Drifter and Exclusive A showed everybody how to do it. Eight Thoughts uploaded the video where he went negative five games in a row. I tested it out myself, fellas. And yes, it does work, but it's not worth it, man. I'm not going to sit here for an hour blowing myself up. Just to get two easy mode lobbies and then get thrown right back into the sweat zone. And I got to go kill myself like 50 times in five more matches. It's just, it's not worth it. It takes way too long. I, it's definitely not worth my time. Besides, uh, like I said, nobody comes here for gameplays or nukes anyway. If I want to go play a... If I want to go play a, a casual, fun Call of Duty game, I'll go back to Call of Granddad. Or I'll go back to using the Strobe Blade of Justice in Black Ops 4. Uh, you know what I'm saying? Like, skill-based matchmaking, I don't know how strong it is in those games. It doesn't feel like there's any of it in those games right now. Uh, Black Ops 4 has always been super easy for me. Uh, COD World War 2, it was really, really difficult at first. You guys remember all the 74, 75 team death matches I used to upload? But now back in COD World War 2, skill-based matchmaking don't live there no more, man. It's gone. You guys saw the gameplay uploaded yesterday. Oh, my goodness. I was destroying people, man. <laughs> That was ridiculous. I was in straight bot lobbies. It was fantastic. Uh, but anyway, so um, it looks like Swag got a chance to... I'm going to pull this article up on screen if you guys are here, fellas. It looks like Swag. Uh, YouTuber asked Modern Warfare devs questions during event. Uh, Minimap perks and more. YouTuber Swag attended a recent capture event at Infinity Ward Studio this week. Shout out to Swag, by the way. It's really cool he got invited out there. He's a good dude. Uh, where they were shown a look at the new Season 1 content. They've already seen it. What, you, Swag, you didn't have to go all the way out to Infinity War to see that. Just go play COD 4, man. You're good. <laughs> Swag said he had a chance to talk with Infinity War's Joe Seesot, who is the multiplayer design director. He shares in his video some of the answers he got for questions he asked during the studio visit. So... Swag, and here's a quick summary of what Swag asked Joe Seesot. They talked about Anya Palace in Ground War, 
Uh, currently focused on new Season 1 content, and they want to eventually add it to Ground War. Yeah, Anya Palace. That's the map I just played the 10v10 Team Deathmatch on while I was running from one side of the map to the other and not seeing anybody. It felt like I was playing hide-and-go-seek. Yeah, Joe, you, you definitely need to add Anya or Camping Palace to Ground War. It's too big for 10v10, man. Uh, like I said, played the entire game, and I finished top of the leaderboards with 13 kills. The map is too big. It's got no flow. And yeah, fellas, I raged a lot in this gameplay, man. This game is super frustrating, dude. This game is super frustrating to play without my claymores, man. <laughs> anyway, so uh, Swag asked him about Dead Silence for pubs. They will lower the footstep volume overall. Devs working closely with pros to test out what works best. Do pros play in pubs? Why, why don't they ask pub players? I would much rather have the developers work with YouTubers than pro players to test out footsteps. I mean, you know what I'm saying? What works best for pros? That represents what, like 1% of the community? Might not work for the other 99%. Just putting that out there, Joe. Uh, perk balance. Swag asked Joe about perk balance. Seasot says Infinity Ward may have made some mistakes with perks and put too many in perk slot one. What are you talking about, Joe? The only thing people run in perk slot one is overkill, man. They, they need to analyze more to see how to change it to balance it better. Uh, oh my god, bro. This is hilarious. Listen, perk slot one, all anyone uses is overkill. Perk slot two, all anyone uses is ghost. Okay? Uh, tank nerf. Infinity Ward is working on nerfing the tank. I don't care. I don't play ground war, man. Uh, spawn in modes. Yeah, your spawns are atrocious. Infinity Ward, work on that, please. And, oh, yeah, and this is hilarious. Look at this, bro. He asked him about the map voting. Like, how come there's no map voting in this game? So, Swag's like, what's up with the map voting, Joe? And Joe's like, yeah, we don't want map voting because data from previous games shows that players leave if their vote does not win, which causes lobbies to break up. What? Yo, don't you guys break up lobbies after every single game anyway? <laughs> Yo, Joe. Infinity Ward, man, what are you guys, stupid? Yo, tell him, 6 9 Stupid. Tell him again. Stupid. I keep telling him. Stupid. Stupid. Yo, <laughs> we, we don't want map voting in the game because it makes people leave. But after every match, we break up the lobby anyway. <laughs> Bro, I'm done. This is hilarious, man. They also asked, uh, Swag also asked Joe about the minimap. Uh, we have no plans to change the minimap. Come on, dude. The design of it now was how they intended it for it to be used in this game. Seasot says they want the UAV to be more of a reward? What? Why? Why do you want the UAV to be more of a reward, Joe? Everyone uses Ghost. I mean, dude, do you guys play this game? What did you guys do for three years? I know you didn't play test this thing. <laughs> do you want the UAV to be more of a reward? Why? So they can feel even more stupid when they get it? Because everyone got ghost on? It's basically like uh, MW3. Everyone got assassin on. You spamming UAV all day long. It don't matter. Everyone got assassin. This is the dumbest thing I've ever seen. And then, you know, he asked about Damascus camo. I don't give a rat's booty. I don't give a beef alum's booty about Damascus camo. Who cares? Uh, he asked him about, oh, yeah, the final thing. He asked him about skill-based matchmaking. At first, CSOP mentioned that this is a hot topic. Yeah, no shaft, Joe. It definitely is. And that he can't really talk about it. Matchmaking in Modern Warfare is not the same as Infinite Warfare. And it is different in every Call of Duty. He said connection is a big priority. They keep sticking to this, man. He said they are constantly tweaking it. Connection is not a big priority, Joe, if I'm always winding up in UK lobbies, man. I mean, unbelievable, dude. I mean, these guys are so out of touch with this game. It is unbelievable. I mean, bro, the footsteps are way too loud, man. You really need to work with a pro player to realize that the footsteps are so damn loud that nobody wants to move. I mean, come on, Infinity Ward. The footsteps are so loud, it's like an elephant with cinder block shoes running on a tin roof. That's how loud these footsteps are, man. It's ridiculous. Uh, so, I don't know, guys. I will put this entire article down in the description. You guys could go and check it out. Uh, pretty shocking stuff, dude. I mean, really, really shocking. I mean, after reading uh, this interview here, uh, Swag's questions to the developers, uh, I have abandoned all hope. Of this game ever getting any better, fellas. But you know what Infinity Ward is doing a great job of doing? Infinity Ward is setting up Treyarch to look like heroes in 2020. I mean, right now, Tr Treyarch looking like Sadama, son. He looks Treyarch gonna be looking like One Punch Man in 2020. Treyarch gonna show up on the scene, boom, punch the one punch this game into oblivion, and that's all they're really doing. And here we go, fellas. I'm trying. There's only there's like um, what 20 seconds left. Here we go, man. Another epic time limit gameplay. I'm so close. I just need one kill to tie this up. I got my dead silence. 
that is almost about to expire. Look at me just running around desperately trying to find somebody. Where's everybody at? Oh, they're all the buildings. Come on. <laughs> just desperately throwing my Molotov trying to get a kill. It's hopeless. I ain't gonna find nobody, bro. I ain't gonna find nobody, man. There you go, fellas. Ah, I lost. I got blown out, man. But if I had my claymores, I probably would have done a lot better. You already know. If I had them claymores, man, I would have won this. <laughs> but hey, I don't know. Man. You know what? I forgot to reverse boost before I got on today, fellas. And you know they put me in a lobby with a few sweats, man. It is what it is, bro. I gotta remember to re reverse boost before I get on next time. <laughs> Before I get on next time, but I have abandoned all hope after reading this interview, fellas. I will put it down in the description. Make sure you guys check it out. And thank you all so much for watching. I'll see you guys on the next one.